on live. We'll just wait. Now I'm ready. Now you're ready. All right. Hi, guys. Today we have a soup can workout. So all you need is very light. some soup cans. Be enough for you right now. If you want to get, if all you have are the small ones, just go ahead and take two, tape them together really good. I think you've got a little bit more weight. This is really good for your kids as an introduction to weightlifting. It's safer, <laughs> cheaper. Um, and if it's dented cans, you can still use them anyway, so no problem. I think for me, I started this when I was, I don't know, junior high, high school. And I, this is still easy. our town had no gym. I mean, gosh, it was the 90s. There weren't gyms in the same format that they are now. Um, my parents owned a grocery store, and we managed to always have dented cans of the most disgusting things possible. So, like, cream peas and cream of corn and uh, bacon and potato soup. And I think there was, like, bacon and cheddar, too. And oh, Anyways, bad memories of stuff that didn't taste good. So... I would steal those cans to make sure that we didn't have to eat them <laughs> and use them as weights in my room. I'm not sure my mom even knows that I did that. So, hey, mom, truce out. Anyway, so what we're going to do is you're going to set your timer for 15 rounds. It's going to be 15 seconds of work, five seconds of rest. And uh, then, sorry, I'm also double guessing my time. It might change. I'll let you know. 15 seconds of work, five seconds of rest. And we're doing three stages for five different exercises. So we're going to work on a few different locations or movements. That's where you're going to work out, kiddo? Yeah? Okay. And uh, yeah, we're going to work on a little bit of like time under tension, isolating into those muscle groups. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the music up just a teeny bit. And we are going to get started. Let me double check that timer. Sorry, 15 and 10. I don't want to use You don't them. have to use them if you don't want to. Because they're also light with this. Okay, but if you try it, you might find it's different. So the first one we're going to do biceps. It's 15 seconds work, 10 Can seconds rest. Heavy for me? Can you please pause and let me use these? Thank you. All right, you guys, we're ready. Hadley, are you ready? Get your stuff. Three, two, one, go. Biceps, we're going to go low to middle. 15 seconds this way. Core's engaged, long spine. Can we do like this? All the way one? down, then to bent elbows. All the way down to bent elbows, like this, Hadley. All right, 10 seconds rest. Now we're gonna hold here for the 10 seconds, and then we're gonna move all the way up, back to mid, and go. I forgot to tell you guys, there's five rounds of this in the end. So you're doing about 30 minutes of work. So the first round, you're going to feel like it's no problem. And we will talk at the end. So this is basically a modification on sevens. All right, all the way down, all the way up. Now, of course, if you have dumbbells like I do behind me, go ahead and use the dumbbells. Okay, now we're going to go into a tricep kickback. So the first one's going to be flat back, hip hinge, kickback. So three different ways to do your kickback. Three, two, one, go. We want to go to full lockout, squeeze those arms against our rib cage, have a long spine, core should be nice and tight. All right, now we're going into an overhead extension. I'll do it from kneeling. So from here, elbows in. We're going to keep them stacked over top of our shoulders. Three, two, one, go. Now extending all the way up. Back down. But am I doing it right? I can't You're doing really it. good. Just try and pull those ribs down. All right. Now we're going to lie on the ground for a skull crusher with those cans. If you have a bench, awesome. Take advantage. We're going to start here again. Elbows stacked over shoulders. Three, two, one, go. We're going to bend the elbows only. Come back up. I can't go so fast. We want to be in control though, don't we? All right, now we're going to go into squats. So we're going to work on mid to high. Out. You can use the weight or you can set them aside. Get we're going from high to middle ground. So about a quarter squat, 15 seconds. Yep, 
You can use your arms for momentum, or you can work on some upper back strength, putting your hands in prisoner style. Hold here. Now we're going to go from middle to low. If you can do Asagras, go for it. Two, two, three, five. Holding's hard. Three, two, one. Go all the way down to the middle point. Or you can pray. All right, now we're gonna work on full squats. Shake it out 10 seconds. Okay, all the way from top point, all the way down. You ready? Three, two, Three, two one. one, go. All the way down, all the way up. Olympic lifters, work on arms overhead. Good girl. All right. Now for our core. We're going to do a Russian twist, but we're only going to focus one side at a time. And we're going to do, skip the sit up. So you're going to have feet in the ground, or you can take feet off. We're going to twist to our left right now. So left. You can take both cans. It's going to be tricky. Holding here. Then we're going to go into the right. Can you do it? No? Do you want to try? No? That's okay. Do you want to do uh, jumping jacks instead? Okay, go. All right, now we're going to do the full. We're going to skip the sit up, hold here. Oh, that's going to be hard. If you can't get your feet up, Get them down. If you need a chair, you can do the same thing on a chair, working on that twist. So Stacy, Rolanda, even though you guys have mobility challenges, that's what you can do. Sorry, time just started. Whoopsies. All right, now for some cardio. We're going to run on the spot. <clears throat> on what? Three, two, one. We're going to run high knees. Oh, boy. Crazy legs. Go, 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 go. All right, take a breather. Now we're going to go into 180 degree squat jumps. Make sure there's nothing in the way. Three, two, one, go. Make sure that you're not twisting in a circle. We want to go back and forth. I'm doing that wrong. Working both sides. Good. And finally, tuck jumps. I've not done tuck jumps for a long time. Bear with me. Three, two, one. Go. I can. Three, two, one. All right, next round, I'm going to show modifications for those of you that can't do the squats and the core. Take a breather. 30 seconds rest. That's it. Short rest. Make sure you guys tag people in these and share them. Help those you care about stay healthy the whole time, okay? That's important. All right, biceps, low to mid. What's mid? Middle. I'm like tired. Hold it. Hold it at that 90 degrees. All right, middle to high. This is like sevens. When is Just it no be, counting. When is it going to be Three, done, Mom? Two, one, 
Hold it here. We're gonna go from the very bottom all the way to the top. In three, two, one. You can do this with milk jugs filled with water, buckets filled with sand. In the summer, cold water outside. Uh, when it's All right, summer mom, try some kickbacks. When it's summer, mom, I'm going to go outside and do do a uh, running around the block. That's a good plan. For like eight hours. Okay, that'll be freedom for me. Okay, five, four, three, two. And one. All right. Overhead extensions. You can do from seating, standing, kneeling. What I want is avoid the elbow flare. I will stack over top of the shoulders. You said we can do it on a chair. Yeah, but arms up overhead. And then bring your hands back. Hurt. And watch out for my wall, please. I'm trying to. Okay. That's why I'm not doing it. All right. So on the ground. Skull crusher, same thing, elbows stacked, over top, no flaring out, keep those elbows in line of the shoulders, we're going to work serratus at this time too, which is vital. All right, move on up for your squat, we're going to go high to mid, I'm going to use some resistance now, high to the middle, and go. All right, people with mobility challenges. You can also work on a leg extension. If we are unable to squat, we can still work on the quads this way. Then the next one would be pulling the heel in towards your butt instead. If you have bands, we can use that as well. Rolanda, because you're gonna need, you're just gonna move in the direction that you can and let the knee just have movement, all right? We're in our mid to low. Mom, I just want to do it big. That's fine, Hadley. All right, full, full. Hold that low squat. Before we go into the full squat, three, two, one, go. Full squat, up and down. Stacy, I'll let you cheat. You can squat to a bench. You can't let people cheat. Well, sometimes we have to help people to get further. All right, into our core. So, seated core. If you can't get the twist, use your legs. We're gonna go to the left. I can't reach the can. Touch the can, go down. If you wanna make it harder, pick it up. Oh yeah. And hold on to it. Now we're gonna go. To our right. Three, two, one, go. To the right. So there's always a way to be able to do something. You have no excuse ever. And the only thing holding you back is yourself. All right, full Russian twist. I'm gonna finish out with the full. Those of you on the chair, if you're doing your legs, go back side to side. Or try and do the full body twist. Keeping that spine long. Breathing. I'm doing the hard thing. Go for it. We're going to hit there next. All right, into or running on the spot. <clears throat> go. You can run in circles if you want to. That's kind of what it feels like. That's the day it feels like to be. <laughs> Woo! Now switch directions. Three, two, one. 180 degree squat jumps. If you're not up for twisting, jump up and down. Just try and pop it. Work within your range of ability. If you need something to hold on to, Grab something. Hold a chair. You can use the back of the chair. Just don't pull it toward you. 
with you. All right, tuck jumps. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. Now the tuck jumps are awful. Go into pretend skipping. Double under. Double under. Double under. <laughs> Gotta have fun. All right, you guys, take a breather, take a rest. I'm gonna leave it at that for you. It's been a slice. Have lots of fun finishing up. You have three more rounds, all right? Have a great day, you guys.